Well, hey y'all, welcome back to Life on the Ridge. Uh, we're gonna start preparing for our garden today. We're in the first week of March. Are oh, you, I just lost power. Are you kidding me? Anyways, as we were saying, we're getting ready for our garden and so we went to the store and we're gonna try something new this year uh we bought this uh burpee seed starting kit and we're gonna start our own seeds so today we're going to start our bell peppers which is what we have here we went with burpee this year uh, except our uh we're going with burpee for most of our vegetables except for our yeah he got some uh pumpkins except for our squash zucchini and our purple whole peas we'll buy them from our local feed store uh but here's our tomatoes that we've got so uh besides that we've got some watermelon we won't be starting them yet here's our cucumber and some more watermelon. Just bought these at the store. I was gonna buy a lot of this online, but they were completely sold out. So we went to the store and they had everything we was needing. But uh, this seed starting kit, uh, it's got these little, I think it's made out of coconut. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. And of course the missus got tons of flowers. And I do mean tons and tons of flowers. And we've also got little man some pumpkins. He wanted to try his hand at growing some pumpkins this year. So maybe about June or July, we'll start in some pumpkins so we can have them around uh, Halloween. Yep. Yep. Are you excited about starting seeds? Yep. I'm excited about starting a garden. We still got about another month or two before we really get started with it, but this is the start, right? Yep. Got to start these uh, tomatoes and uh, bell peppers in the house. And then later we'll transition them to the greenhouse once they get up and we'll harden them off. But uh, we've never used one of these. We've never used one of these. Uh, so we'll see how it works out. Thought we might show y'all uh, starting our seeds today. And uh, here in a couple months, here in about... We're about, I think, six or seven weeks from our last frost date here in North Mississippi. So uh, we'll uh, go ahead and start them now. And then maybe by end of April, 1st of May, we can go ahead and stick these in the ground or these uh, peppers, bell peppers and uh, tomatoes. So let's get started. Yeah. Got our instructions here on the back. These are hard solid ground, guys. Yeah, it is a uh what is this thing? It is a growing pellet. Ugh. And I think it's made out of some kind of coconut something. I don't know. We're finna find out though. This is what the uh, seed will go in. It's got the little holes in the bottom so it can absorb the water. And uh, supposedly, you take this little doodad here and stick it down in here and then slowly drizzle warm water over it. And it's supposed to expand and be like soil. And then this is our water tray. And. Uh, you just fill this with water. You set this down into here. And then you got the top. A clear top and you stick that over the top of it. Like so. And there you go. Let's get with it. Let's get with it. Let's get with it. <laughs>
got all of our seeds sown. And like I said, we done two rows of one variety of, I think it was Better Boy hybrid tomato, two rows of some like a beef steak tomato, the big ones, and then uh, two rows of bell peppers. So we got 12 plants of each one of those. Hopefully we'll have 12 plants. We have personally never started tomatoes and bell peppers before, so it's gonna be interesting. What? It's raining. It is raining. Guys, it's raining. It's raining. I know. We uh, we made a pretty good mess on the kitchen table here. Normally we'd be doing this outside, but it's just one of those gloomy March days out there. So that's why we came in and made a mess. Hopefully Mama won't get too mad at us. We'll clean the table up. He looked like he'd been outside, though. Got garden soil all over his uh, sleeve and on his hand. And but uh, anyways, just wanted to uh, show y'all we started our seed and can't wait for gardening season to get here. We got, uh, my tractor got some dirt on it too. Yep, your tractor's got some dirt on it. I think he's kind of caught off guard by doing all this in the house. But uh, you know, as, as we sowed these seeds, it, it reminded me of uh, the parable that Jesus used of the soil and uh you know we work hard on this soil uh to, to make sure we've got a good place to to uh, plant our seed when jesus used that parable he talks about the different types of soil and uh the last soil is the good soil the soil that produces fruit produces a crop and so uh, i pray that each one of y'all are uh, are the good soil that produces a, a fruit for christ uh, in this day and age I'm just, you know, I'm not been on this earth as long as maybe some of y'all have been, um, but just what I've seen in my in my short time is uh, is crazy. This nation has uh, definitely is definitely going uh, in the opposite direction of uh, scripture and uh, following God's way of doing things. But uh, I hope that all all of y'all are uh, true followers of Christ, and if you're not. Uh, I point you to him that you'll uh, get in scripture, read his word, and uh, that you'll repent, confess, and believe in, in, in God. Uh, Jesus came and died for our sins, and if we will repent and turn from our sinful and wicked ways and follow him and follow his word, then uh, we, can be, we can be made righteous. But uh, with all the crazy in the world and just all the unknowns, Now's the time, I feel like, more than ever. I've heard it my whole life, but uh, now's the time more than ever to uh, search your heart and uh, put your faith in Christ. But anyways, we hope we... Uh, well, I've done spilt water out of this thing. I do like this thing, though, because uh, instead of water in the top, it's got this little tray in the bottom. So you add your water to the bottom, and it absorbs the water into the soil. But good soul. That's what we want to be. Good soul for Christ. And it drops into the into the cry. Yep. All right. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I'll try to leave links to all this uh, down in the description box below. And hopefully, I know I've kind of been hit and miss on videos here lately. Life's just been crazy. Uh, the missus is getting further along. Pregnancy's going good. Uh, but uh, we've just been pretty busy here lately and uh, trying to make videos and, and keep y'all guys informed my, my, with what's my, going on my in our life. Mama's still got the Bible in her belly. She's, she's still got him in there, don't she? Yeah. But, uh, and I'm sure uh, this summer everything will start kind of smoothing back out, but we've just been super busy here lately and that's why we haven't been making a ton of videos. But y'all bear with us. appreciate all of y'all that uh, watch on a consistent basis. We appreciate all of y'all. Couldn't do it without y'all. And uh, got anything you want to tell them? Hit the subscribe button and see us, see you below. See y'all on the next one. See y'all on the next one. Bye.